guys, it's Natalie Divino. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you do not know who I am, I'm a Roman Catholic YouTuber and I do YouTube videos on all things Catholicism. So if you're Protestant Catholic or whoever you are, you are welcome here. Today's video is going to be a quick, short, pretty raw video. I just wanted to put out my stance on the document Fiducia Supplicans that just came out, issued by Pope Francis, it came out yesterday. So I just wanted to post a little video on my stance on the article. There are many headlines right now saying that the Pope just allowed for same-sex marriage to be okay within the Catholic Church. Um, I've gotten comments on reels, on sh shorts, on all videos saying, uh, what, is, what is your stance on this? Um, I've gotten DMs, so I just wanted to issue like and tell you guys like what my stance is on this topic, which I'm not going to... You can take my word for it. You don't have to. Everyone has their own opinions. But I'm just going to be going off of the facts and what the document says and trying to get in the head of what Pope Francis intended. I 100% agree that the church should never allow for the marriage of same-sex unions um, because obviously there's all sexual ethics into that on why um, that is the church's teaching and it still is the church's teaching. But this document that was approved by Pope Francis was not at all stating that the doctrine on marriage should change. Yes, it could be a little bit ambiguous um, in the fact that, well, now we're allowing blessings for them. There's this whole big document, a whole big uproar. Now it seems like the church might be allowing this. So some people could take it that way. But if a priest honestly reads this document, there is in no way the Pope trying to intend that the church doctrine changes on the stance of same-sex unions. He explicitly says that the doctrine regarding marriage will not change and the blessing does not signify approval for the union. He speaks of marriage still being between a man and a woman. He says that there should be no ritualization, no marriage, no dressing at all like there is a marriage. All that he wanted, um, at least of what I get from the article, is that he just wanted for same-sex couples, he wanted for crazy people living on the streets. He wants for single women. He wants for me as a sinner to all be able to receive a blessing um, from the church. Because if I'm able to receive a blessing, that doesn't mean that he is saying, yeah, like Natalie keeps sitting in this way, doing that. No, it's just he wants you to be able to receive a blessing. And also by receiving a blessing, it's better that they receive a blessing from the church where the Holy Spirit can now work through them than to then for them to be denied blessing from the church and then they go off and then there's no like blessing that they have upon them so as long as the priest that issues a blessing to someone that has same-sex tendencies has no intention of praising their sin um then it is 100 percent okay and everyone should be able to receive any blessing so yeah, that is basically my stance. Um, I have some like articles and things I will link below for you guys to read more on it. But before you guys make any assumptions, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you actually read the document. Um, and if you have, great. Um, I would read the document and just try to look at it with rose-colored eyes because, I mean, we should always look in the best in people and not assume things and be harsh and rash judges. Um, so yeah, it's good to look with rose color eyes. Obviously, there can be some confusion in everything. You could take any document and be like, hmm, well, is this meaning that he's allowing this? Is this? Yeah, we can take that from a lot of things. Um, but I just think that right now we just need to realize it's not that big of a deal. It is not a complete change in our faith or anything. It's still staying with our faith. It's just like now more like out there. Um, which the more we make it out there, the more it may seem like, yeah, that he's allowing all this crazy stuff. But if we actually have the facts down, then we should be fine with this whole document. So yeah, I love each and every one of you. If you haven't already liked this video, um, comment down below, turn on your notifications and subscribe. You can go follow me over at my Instagram at Natalie Demina. And yeah, I love each and every one of you so much. And so does God.
Blessed Pier Giorgio Frassati, pray for us. Have a blessed day.